now to what brings us here to Las Vegas, the Super Bowl. The big game isn't just one of the biggest sporting events of the year. The host city becomes one of the biggest travel destinations. CBS's Chris Van Cleve reports on the turbulence in transporting half a million fans to Super Sunday. A trip to the Super Bowl turned most unlucky for JetBlue Flight 777 canceled after two JetBlue planes had what amounts to a fender bender while de-icing this morning in Boston. We were hit by another aircraft. The other aircraft Around a half million fans are flooding the strip for Super Bowl 58. At Harry Reid International, airlines added 60 extra flights. John Mendez was hard to miss in baggage claim. Do you have to up the bling because it's Vegas? Of course. Go big or go home. Security has been stepped up. Thousands of local, state, and federal officers working to secure Sin City. Sunday is the Super Bowl, but Monday is our Super Bowl. The Henderson Executive Airport rolled out 18 extra acres of overflow parking for private jets. They expect eight times more jets to park here. About 1,100 have been given slots to take off and land at three area airports. Likely a new record, says Aviation Director Rosemary so, Basiliadis. Are all of your airports sold out on space? We will be 100% full at any given time. Is there room for Taylor Swift's plane? <laughs> I can only imagine there is. All Taylor has to do is finish these three concerts in Japan and make the 6,000-mile trip in time for kickoff. And fans who aren't Taylor Swift should expect gridlock on the ground. Most will be walking to the stadium. And when it comes time to go home, they think Monday will be the busiest day at this airport ever. Nora? Chris Van Cleve, thank you.